Now this is a rare semi B patch plot in Luxus Hill because Luxus Hills are predominantly made up of inter-terraces and in order to get a semi-detached land, you really have to wait for somebody that's willing to give up on the land plot and furthermore, if you want to have close to $900,000 of renovations and furnishings that has pumped into the home just a mere 6 years ago, probably this semi-detached land will be one of the ones that you'll fall in love with. So why don't we follow Property Link Brothers on our landed home tour today? Let's go. So in District 28, there's this entire plot of land that's being owned by Bukit Sambawang. And Bukit Sambawang since then has been launching Luxus Hill series face by face. And right now, of course, if you have been to the latest launch that was being done by Bukit Sambawang, it was fully sold out within the month in the early part of 2020. This house that we're standing right now, this was launched in phase three. So the owners bought this in 2010. It was completed close to about 2012-2013. Luxus Hill is a rare plot because this is the only chance for you to buy brand new landed properties at one shot directly from a developer. I mean, most landed properties, if you want to buy brand new from developers, it happens on a by chance basis because it's either located in a very mature landed enclave whereby developers buy out old landed plots and then they tear down and rebuild them. But for Luxus Hill, because of the way that it's being launched face by face, and usually when they launch it, there will be two rows of houses that will be built at one go, and then they will launch it together in a launch fashion, just like how you buy properties off a new launch. So when phase 3 was launched, most of the properties that were being built are inter-terraces in nature and of course you have corner terraces right at the end point of each inter-terrace plot. In order to have semi-detached land, it was pretty rare I would say because the latest phase that was being launched, there were only two semi-Ds that was being built by a developer. So for phase 3, there were 8 of them. So right now we're standing in one of the 8 that was being built and phase 3 gives you this single loading fashion which is a rare find because you have the Amokyo linear park right at the back. In order to have the park at the back, it means that you do not have any other houses right on the backyard of your own land plot. And uh, this is what we call a single loading fashion because usually, based on how landed properties are being built, definitely your backyard is facing towards another backyard of your neighbour. And in order to have this park facing, you definitely will have to wait for the right chance for this to pop up in the resale market. So some quick facts about this home. Luxus Hill are all built on triple nine years leasehold land title. So of course it's as good as freehold. Land plot size, this is 2287 square feet. Total of 4,500 square feet of build up size. In terms of the land depth that is 25 meters, you also have a width of 8.5 meters. So when this was all fully renovated about six years back, the owners want a unique design that is uh, different from the rest of the houses right here. Everything that you see here, these are all fully done now over the years. Now in terms of the exterior walls, these are all done with ironwood cladding and of course for the interior walls, these are all done with horn and flame granite tiles. I would say this is one of the rest MEDs here with the lap pool that's being built by the owner. 12.8 meters, width is 1.75 and of course the depth is pretty standard at 1.2 meters. You have also this nice little koi pond right here. So these are all being done and renovated from day one. Of course, the automated iron gate uh, has been done with transparent glass. The semi-detached land here allows you to park two cars very comfortably. There are also like seven panels of true cabinetry space that already built up. You also have this overhanging sitting zones for you to change your shoes when you come home. Of course, there are no pillars here. Even the car porch ceiling has been done up nicely. So having no pillar is very important because you can park in one car right here and the floor tiles have actually been re by the owners themselves. Starting from this portion, you can see that these are all done with nice wooden decking. This is to flow in together with the pool deck later. It's a bright sunny day. Why don't we come and enjoy some aircon? All right. <music> Now, most of the inter-terraces in terms of the land size here, they belong to the 1615 square feet version. For semi-Ds, you have a much larger land plot, 2287 square feet land. The ceiling height is at 3.5 meters. Even after renovating it with a four ceiling, cove lighting, you still get a good 3.2 meters. When you come in from the main door, you have this great living room and dining space that is all in one that you can see through towards your dining space as well as your open kitchen and enclosed kitchen. So you have three slides panel that's floor to ceiling so that when you have parties 
Just open up the entire space, put in alfresco dining if you want, more table space right outside. So there's a good floor of indoor and outdoor. Now this is done with a designer so far already. One of the largest coffee table version we've seen so far. TV console is done with uh, travertine marble tiles. These are very precious marble tiles. This gives you the look of luxury when you live in Luxus Hill. TV console is tucked in this direction. So there's a sunken wall here. So it doesn't really eat into your living room space. So the house is done with CCTV. The entire security is done. We don't have to spend an additional amount to do up the moment you buy this home. Uh, it's also nicely wallpapered for the entire level one. This pool is taken care of very well by our owners. They have maintenance work being done twice per week. So this is at about 200 odd dollars per month. So take note, of course, if you buy a house with an own pool, definitely you have to maintain it twice per week in order to keep the chlorine level balanced. You also have slide panels here. There's also a jacuzzi right at the corner. So this is being designed to suit your body contour shape. Uh, it's nicely done right tucked at the corner with a nice outdoor set at the back. Now we really want to have a good look at what does the single loading feels like. It's not easy nowadays to find houses with a good back facing. So let's have a look. If you have pets at home, this is a space for your pets to roam around as well. Of course, you, they can roam inside the home. On the back gate has been approved by BCA. If you look at the URA master plan, this Amokyo linear park that is linked towards the Luxus Hill Park itself, these are all demarcated and gazetted as green zone. That means this is here to stay. And your view from your backyard with your master on level 2, plus your common room on level 3, and of course your roof terrace, these are all protected. Now, the beauty of this park is that the moment you come out, there's there's no road separating the park and your house. So your kids can just come out to the back freely to play. You're actually on the elevated land fronting towards Amokyo Avenue 5. So you don't get to hear the road noise from here because there's so much setback from the road right towards your house. So as you come back in, there is a bathroom right here. And of course, there is a utility room. As you come right on, this is the view that you get standing from an entertainment kitchen overlooking towards your dining living in your front porch. You don't have any pillars. The staircase are all tucked right to the corner. Underneath the corner staircase, you also have a nice high ceiling storeroom right underneath the stairway itself. Let's talk a little bit about the entertainment kitchen. So this kitchen is great because it doubles up as an island top that you can put in like two to three high stools right here, just like what our owners has done. Dining space, you can easily go up to a 10-seater. Right now, it's an eight-seater. And of course, uh, for the entertainment kitchen, the allocation of this space has also been very well designed. You can put in two door fission packer. I think this is one of the most gigantic fridge that we have filmed recently. And of course, the bottom freezer. So dry kitchen is done with some brand appliances, similarly for your induction cooker. I think this kitchen is fully functional. You don't really have to do stuff in your wet kitchen. If you want to do like open flame cooking, then you can do it right at your wet kitchen. The best thing is of course, your granny room is actually right tucked at this direction. This room right now is being done as a study room powder room right here. So of course on level one itself, this is what your guests will use when they come to visit you. So you have a nice powder room that's tucked in the corners. I think let's go to the roof terrace first. Let me show you the view from the top and then we work downwards from there. Let's go. So this is like level four. Three and a half means you can go up to level four being the attic level. Let's have a look at the left and right side. Then you get to see the entire Luxus in nature. As you come towards this direction, you get to see the entire Luxus Hill Park and Amokyo Linear Park right from here. Right towards that direction will be Haogang 1 that you can do your grocery shopping. The entire level 2 of Haogang 1 is dedicated to NTUC and level 1 has like F&B, McDonald's, coffee toast and stuff like that. There's this outdoor deck here that will stay for you. Nice carpeted grass with pebbles and of course gardening and decking. I think the beauty is that you have such good frontage from the front and back. So, Let's head down. 
Okay, so now that we're done with the roof terrace, let me bring you to level 3. So there's a longer flight of steps from level 3 to the attic because that's to account for the highest ceiling. There are four panels of huge windows that brings in light to the entire stairway. Semi-detached are also the only ones for you to have two family areas. So you have a family area on level 2. Right here at level 3, you have another family zone. Now a little bit on to the pricing. So this property is asking for $4.98 million negotiable based on the land size of 2287 square feet. Feet. Now, if you look at the entire District 28, and of course on the houses in D19, but if you go for an older version, let's say a single-story semi-detached land in some of the clusters in D28, a mid three and a half million dollars, you'll be able to get a land plot that is of a semi-D status. Now, you can go for a rebuilt version. Semi-D is usually if you want to rebuild to a good max-out GFA like this one, that will probably take you about 18 months to 24 months, depending on the extensiveness of your design. If you want to spend the recall cost that will probably be in a range of about 300 to 350 dollars per square foot so that will then bring you to close to about 1.5 million dollars for a semi-detached rebuild status in totality it will be close to about five million dollars in terms of the rebuild plus your land cost itself the key distinction on whether should you go for a ready built one like this one that is of a modern renovation and facade it will then depend on whether do you want to save time there are a lot of families right here who love to get within the one kilometers radius of roadside this is not a deep Deep landed enclave it is actually very close to all the amenities that you need. So heading on to the CTE, heading on to Upper Serangoon Road is very convenient. So let me show you one of the bedrooms right here. This is the Precious Moments room. Two panel wardrobe is intact. This is the baby's room, the kid's room. Of course, you can put in a queen bed here. Okay, put in two super singers as well. This overlooks towards the front of your home. You also have your own ensuite, standing shower. This room will be great to be used for your parents. And that's the view that you enjoy. It's beautiful because it just stretches so far to the left and right side. Of course, the road is situated after this entire elevated garden. Notice that the balcony has been done with uh, carpeted grass. Ensuite bathrooms together with a tuck-in two-door wardrobe right here. You also have an additional two-door wardrobe right here. So in totality, this is a junior master suite. Gives you four wardrobe space. As you come back to the family area, right now this is being designed to be like a karaoke room. Because you want to glass out with a sliding panel, it can still be done. Let's head down to level two. Okay, as we head down to level 2, you have another family area. This family area right now is being designed as a gym in your home. Nice TV, massage chair, couple of machines right here. You also have another outdoor balcony right on this direction. You have two rooms that are ensuite. Of course, one will be your huge master room. The other one will be another common room fronting towards the front of the home. The owners have designed this two-door version as you head in and overlooking towards the beautiful garden view at the back. You also have a private balcony inside. Ensuite comes with a nice long bath. Alright, so now that we're done with the entire home, we hope that you enjoy this landed home tour with us at Luxus Hill. And again, this is one of the rare semi-detached homes with this beautiful facing at the back. And since the park is definitely one of the highlights and the single loading facing, why don't we end here? And uh, of course, once again, my name is Melvin Lim, Property Lim Brothers. As always, happy to show the place. Do remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give a call to our listings manager. Their numbers are right here. And of course, in the link and description right down below. And uh, give us a call. We'll make an appointment for you. So, meantime, take care. Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Horn and flame granite, grenade, granite, granite house. <laughs>